Today is a fun day because we get to start making our roof racks on top of the ceiling, or on top of the roof, and also add on our solar panels. So it's been a long time coming. Welcome back to our channel guys. We are James and Alex, traveling full time and very close to finishing building our home on wheels. If you missed our last bus build vlogs, then go back and play catch up. We're getting there guys. In today's vlog, we will be tackling roof racks. We looked everywhere on YouTube how to build custom roof racks on a bus and found absolutely nothing. The only thing we could find online were gutter mounts, which were priced crazy stupidly expensive. Some coming in at $4,000 for a whole system. So we thought to ourselves, there has to be a cheaper way. So if like us, you've already finished your ceiling and you can only attach a roof rack from the top side, then keep watching to find out how we managed to make an entire system for under $400. So we ended up reaching out to a couple of people in the bus community and we figured out a way to be able to do it ourselves on a budget. So what we've done is we've got some brackets manufactured from a steel fabricator, which cost us about 160 bucks for about 10. And we bought some 40 by 40 square tube aluminium, which ended up being relatively cost effective as well. We bought all the necessary nut certs, M8 bolts, the washers, and now I'm in the process of spray painting everything black. So I'm getting everything ready by using wax and grease remover on all of the aluminium as well as the brackets. And then we're gonna use etch primer that we bought from Supertube Auto. And then once that's all done and dusted, we are then going to paint it black. Tempton bracket number one. <laughs> what I was gonna say was always make sure you vacuum up the lint. Is that what it's called? Schwarf. 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 I thought it was called lint. It's not called lint. No, lint's what's come off your clothes. <laughs> Ignore what I've said in previous vlogs about lint. <laughs> lint, 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 lint. Always make sure you vacuum up the schwarf because um, it can create rust, which I've discovered earlier in this build, if you remember. These channels at the moment are about 2.2 meters long. James and I have figured out that 1.8 meters will probably be the perfect size in terms of width or length. That way they're not gonna be overhanging too much. So, angle grinder. Always make sure you use a right angle ruler and you go around every single side of the aluminium channel. Because when you cut it, it makes sense that as you're cutting one side, you then twist it, you cut the other side, you twist it. And that way you've got an accurate line all the way around. We're done. It's an exciting moment because now we're at the stage of putting in the channels that are going to be connected to our brackets. So we've made one hole slightly larger on one side than on the other, and that'll make it easier for when James uses his tool. <laughs> Just a few minor adjustments and they're in. It's 
late at night, but the solar panels are up. It's a big moment for Naya the bus. So we finished off yesterday with having the solar panels fixed to the roof via the roof racks, which we are super, super chuffed about. It's a new day, we are back in the bus, and now we are trying to connect the wires from the solar panels into the actual battery system. Therefore, we will be able to run solar and power the batteries. Good news, everyone. We have solar connected and it is bringing in power. And all that's left now is to hammer in the end caps. I'm pretty sure we have some roof racks. Fantastic.